Hello, assalamu alaikum, good morning, khush amdeed, ji ayanu, khuyya morakha. Pakhair agale, ni hao, chudu shumme, washmale, ohaya gudzaimis, guten morgen, ola, boyor, priviet, kaifa hal, hale shuma chatore, ahlan vasalan marhaba, buna, mucho, gracia, suavia, and a very amazing good morning to everybody who's tuning to PTV World and watching World this morning alongside the very fantastic Shiza Hashmi and the very elegant Shazad Khan. <laughs> Hello Shiza, how are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely great, thank you for asking. <laughs> what about you and how do you feel elegant though? Well, uh, yeah, you know, just because I was wearing a suit today, I thought, man, okay. this might actually go with the kind of feel I am in, mm. but that's perfectly all right. Other yeah. than that, ladies and gentlemen, since we started a little late today, obviously you, uh, you could actually see Prime Minister Imran Khan and Prime Minister uh, uh, Mahathir Mohammed as well, where they were in conversation and answering uh, their questions, the questions of the media. But finally, we got a chance. We are here and we are going to make a difference too as well. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the date is 4th of February 2020, a very important day. Why? Shiza, do you want to tell? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, today happens to be World Cancer Awareness Day, and that is what we will be doing in the first segment today. Exactly, and talking about that, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we speak about the history of the Cancer Day for the very first time, it was observed back in 1993 in Switzerland. And uh, But then at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we talk about World Cancer Day, it's, it, the purpose behind it is to raise awareness amongst people who are actually going through or are looking after people who are suffering from cancer as well. Hmm. But the entire motive was to decrease the number of cancer patients by 2020, which does not really look very promising. And it's because of the fact that back in the day, they were in 1993, mm -hmm. there were almost 12.7 million people who were diagnosed with cancer and 7 million out of them were, well, that's what they say that will actually die. But unfortunately, this number has been just growing. Absolutely. And Shasat, when you're talking about, you know, so many millions of people, it's actually a staggering amount. And, uh, you know, I took a stats of the website of World Health Organization as well, which said that 17 people die every minute of cancer. Yeah. How staggering is that? And, you know, speaking particularly of Pakistan, in females, the most prominent and most, uh, let's say, po um, I don't know, common cancer is breast cancer. breast cancer. And for males, it's, uh, well, oral cavity cancer yes. or lip cancer. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen, this program, will entirely be talking about you know how to prevent how to live with cancer and how to diagnose how to treat yeah. everything about it exactly so ladies and gentlemen without any further ado we have some very amazing guests over here in the studios with us as well uh, one of them is an oncologist gyne gynecological uh, oncologist and yeah. the other one is a consultant radiation oncologist he's none other than dr muhammad farooq as well hello sir assalamu alaikum how are you assalamu alaikum shazad and shazad thank you very much for bringing me here sir thank you very much for joining us but you got here yourself but we will <laughs> definitely be interviewing you as well but on uh, alongside dr muhammad farooq ladies and gentlemen we've actually been joined by a gynecological Oncologist as well. She's none other than Dr. Saira Mufti. Hello, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum salam. I'm great. How are you? Absolutely perfect. Thank Thanks you very much for joining me. us. It's wonderful to have you. But to get the conversation mm. started, <clears throat> I myself am a cancer survivor. I've gone through the uh, highs and lows as well. And I think that it keeps on going. That's perfectly all right. But whenever we talk about War Cancer Day, particularly the motive behind was, uh, according to the 2008 declaration, to have lesser number of patients or lesser uh, people who will actually die of cancer, which looks otherwise. Why do you think that we are still struggling? I think, uh, Shahzad, uh, this is very uh, important to realize that things go a bear because um, people are not look looking into with the that detail. eye. Yes. So people need to be aware that the cancer is on the rise because of themselves mostly. Okay. So cancer basically is because of a genetic change. Okay. Mm. Um, so that genetic change can actually come from your family. But when we go into the clinics, we see only 10% or less of these patients have a genetic disorder. Yeah. And we continue to see a rise in patients who are younger are having cancer. Yep. Mm. Because if you look at the global cancer incidence, yep. mostly like 55 years and above, 80% of these cancers yep. occur in them. In them. So having said that, um, if you have environmental right. factors, um, including uh, your diet plans, right. your lifestyles, uh, exposure to carcinogens, that can cause a change at a very early age. Yep. Mm. So that's what we call epigenetic change. Right. Okay. So I think that's the major contributor. So we as a population need to look at ourselves, whether we're doing enough as exercise, eating right amount of food. Yeah. Right. Uh, are we changing, switching to more 
um, non-organic food made by companies yeah. or brands. Yeah. Mm. So that's the kind of things which we need to address. Thank, thank you very much for saying that. But I think I'm going to pick up the word where you said contributor. Uh, uh, you know, even in my case, you know, we were still, we, I am still unable to figure out why it actually happened to me. Uh, I mean, other than talking about all of those contributors, where it can be smoking, where it can be, you know, the diet's not fine, or mm. you do not exercise, and so many other things. But we are still guessing. Yeah. We are still somewhere in the air. We are not catching the real cause of it as well. Mm. We do treat cancer, but we're not treating the cause itself. So how do Absolutely. you think that we're going to decrease the number of cases? So, Dr. Saiba, let me ask you, what is the major cause of anybody getting cancer? Uh, well, uh, cancer causation is a multifactorial thing. Okay. You cannot blame a single thing. Okay. As the Dr. Farooq said very well, 5 to 10 percent of, of the cancers are genetic in origin. Okay. On the other hand, one third of the cancers, uh, th that is the 30 to 40 percent of the cancers are due to environmental factors okay. that they can be prevented. Another one third can be cured if they are detected, diagnosed and treated at an earlier stage yeah. mm -hmm. in environmental factors. There are multiple factors like smoking can uh, lead to 15 uh, different types of cancers. Uh, alcohol consumption has led to 10 different types of cancers yeah. and lifestyle factors such as uh, obesity, uh, people live a sedentary lifestyle, yeah. uh, especially in the females as I am a female gynecologist so I will t uh, discuss more about females. Yeah. In our society, females live a very sedentary lifestyle. You must have visited uh, public places, you have, must have seen parks. Women prefer to sit inside their homes, they don't put on joggers, they don't go outside and they don't yeah. indulge in any kind of physical activity. Yeah. And that lack of physical activity actually leads to uh, 10 different types of cancers in the okay. women, which okay. are um, top of which are breast, colon, ovarian, endometrial cancer, liver, renal, a lot of different kind of cancers. Okay. So uh, basically we need to educate our women yeah. to indulge more in physical activity, yeah. to do uh, changes in their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and other factors and to implement various vaccination programs yeah. and uh, to indulge in regular screening. Okay, well thank you very much for saying that but uh, I'm sorry that, that I'm picking up so much from the kind of answers you're giving me. Now imagine that you said that you know it can be genetic, it can be because of the kind of routine you have. So imagine that you know if a parent had five kids, mm -hmm. uh, everybody's eating the same amount of food, everybody's eating the same type of food, everybody's doing the same kind of activity because they're right. in one household. Why, why is that that only one kid is going to get cancer and the rest of them are not going to get cancer then? So, so I think that, that the very basis which you have told us that this is the cause of cancer, I don't okay. agree to that. I'll, I'll help. Uh, sure, why not? See, okay. the mechanism of cancer is a bit complicated, mm -hmm. but just to make it easy, whatever the cause is, the insult we cause, we call, is the genetic change. Okay. So first step is there has to be a bad gene that replicates and causes production of new cells and they keep on moving, moving yeah. and right. becoming doubling, you know, doubling. So second step is there is a policing mechanism which is called your immune uh, potency. How good is your immunity? Okay. So whenever the immunity goes down, yeah. the cells which are there as an army of your body right. to watch for these new cells being formed yeah. which are unwanted, yeah. That's how cancer develops when they go down. Right. So like you've got an assembly line for cars, you've got a defective part in the car, that car could actually be, um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's all so, right. Uh, so that, that car is uh, defective. Some supervisor is going to be there to say this is a defective car and it needs yep. a change. Right. But what happens if the supervisor is not there? Yeah. The defect would pass on. Okay. So similarly, the policing mechanism needs to be intact and it needs to identify a bad cell which is genetically abnormal. Yeah. So there are two mechanisms. So, so is it you like nine overlapping, chromosome nine overlapping, 22, something of that sort? Absolutely. That's yeah. a genetic change yeah. because you are a cancer survivor, yeah. mashallah. So you're very well aware <laughs> that there is a genetic mutation yeah. which is very well known for chronic yeah. myeloid leukemia. But we are only unable to, uh, you know, we are only able to control it, you know, the the extra cellular distribution by the body, we are only able to control it. Why are we not able to stop it? Yeah, um, I think that again is the research part that needs to be addressed by the researcher that yeah. what is the cause. Yeah. So having said that, you'll be amazed. People think cancer is something coming from outside. Yeah. It's something which is coming from, from within. within. Mm. Yeah. So like you want to live, but you have a shape and you're called Shazad, Cancer also has a shape, it has the same genetic, abnormal genetic sequences. Yeah. So it fights for its life, yeah. 
Hmm. And it keeps on changing. Okay. Yeah. So I keep on giving example, like the bacterial resistance, the cancer also develops resistance to a particular therapy. Yeah. And it changes the pathways from where it needs to grow. Yeah. So if, okay. if I give you an example, like somebody having lung cancer, when I started my career, we would treat them, which is stage four with chemotherapy. But why now we know through genetic tests, there are driver mutations. Hmm. Every, every mutation takes the cancer to a different pathway. Oh, so what nice. in the world they're doing today is they're making targeted agents that block that particular target. Right. So what we're doing is we are selecting patients and we say one chemotherapy does not fit all the cancer patients. Yeah. Right. Every driver mutation needs to be picked up, which is a costly phenomenon. <coughs> and then we, th we have got a drug that attacks that. Right. Okay. So if that mutation is not present in the rest of the cohort, rest of the population of the lung cancer, yeah. That's just going to give them side effects, not going to improve. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing which is happening. And second thing is, there are lots of theories that it's not simply a genetic change. Right. There is a series of genetic changes. Yeah. Why similar patients have a cancer in the same gender, same age, same reactions. stage, which progresses and the other one doesn't, yeah. because it, it succumbs to another mutation. Okay. Okay. So that's why I keep on telling my patients, please do not compare your genes with another genes. Like yeah. Mm. Uh, siblings are not the same. Yeah. Cancer in two um, identical twins are not going to be same. Okay. Okay. They're going to respond in a different way. Well, that's okay. uh, reassuring, I guess. Yeah, yeah. and that and does I make sense as well. But Dr. Saira, yes, yeah. please do add to that. Also, I want to ask you, there's only so much we can do to stop or, you know, prevent uh, from having cancer. But here's the thing, if you do find out, there are so many cases where we find out that he's at the last stage and he just found he has cancer and thus, you know, premature mortality rate goes up as well. How can we diagnose or how can we pinpoint uh, or, you know, look out for, what should we actually be looking out for? Uh, again, I would like to emphasize on uh, starting diagnosis or screening the patients at a very early stage. Mm. Uh, we would uh, uh, screen patients on a national level. Uh, we would uh, implement uh, different screening strategies like for the breast cancer. We have to educate our patients. We have to educate them about uh, regular breast self-examination right. to undergo regular screening tests. To, uh, for, uh, regarding the cervical cancer, we need to educate the patients about having regular vaccination, having regular uh, checkups, and uh, um, uh, apart from uh, the other lifestyle changes, and a lot of research is going on, and uh, a lot of scientific advances have been made in the treatment of cancer. I would like to add that previously, the main treatment on the, um, of the cancer was based on three treatment modalities. Okay. That is surgery, uh, the radiation therapy, and the chemotherapy. But yeah. nowadays, the scientists are working more and more on immunotherapy. Yeah. The first immunotherapy that was developed in 1979 was on interleukin-2. And it was uh, experimented on a lot of number of the patients, but it didn't work out and it worked on the uh, 67 patients. 66 patients initially died oh, and okay. 67 patients responded to it. And now they are, the scientists are working on uh, genetic engineering right. where, uh, uh, where they uh, uh, take uh, out the cells from the patient's own bloodstream. They stimulate their immune system and then include certain uh -huh. genes uh, mm -hmm. in them which help the capability of the body's own immune system to fight against the cancer. Oh, well, right. and, and that's great. And since we're short of time today, so why quickly, <clears throat> I think, what are those major changes which one can make in their lifestyle? Yeah. And they can make sure that the cancer or the gene mutation is actually going to stay away from them. So, Shazad, that's a very, very key point. I think that should be the key message yeah. for home, for everybody, especially kids. Uh, eat simple. Okay eat the right uh, healthy diet, eat small, try to stay away from processed stuff. Mm. See, everything that comes from Allah in the natural form is what is meant for your body. Yeah. Right. Things which are in packs, brands, sausages mm. and beverages, uh, especially sugar, sugary beverages, yeah. uh, coloring, food colors, um, um, repeated oil, heating, that especially becomes uh, black in color because once it loses its yellow color, it becomes sort of carcinogenic. Yeah. Um, then your personal you know, hobbies like taking alcohol or uh, uh, the cigarettes, more or less you see these shisha uh, lovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They should know that one shisha uh, for an hour gives them around 100 cigarettes yeah. uh, oh, wow. exposure. So that's enormous. Mm. Um, so you have to go back to your simple lifestyle, bring exercise. Uh, there's been a lead, uh, recently there's been a uh, new paper saying the health is more dependent on your diet 
by 80% and 20% on exercise. On, exercise yes. on the contrary, what we thought, that probably yeah. exercise is the one. Right. So keep a balanced diet. See what you're eating. Yes. Make sure you're eating natural, organic stuff. Whatever God has created, that's meant for you. And if you are at high risk because you've got three or more siblings, either uh, vertically for your, from your nani, dadi, khala, pupo, yeah. or uh, horizontally in your siblings, cousins, if you have three or more set of patients who have a cancer, you need to be at high risk. So you need to meet a, a counselor yes. to see whether you need a screening test. Right. Well, that's All great. Right. Thank you very much for being with us. It was wonderful to have you, even though that we were very short on time. But ladies and gentlemen, we've always made sure to get the best information out there for all of you. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, the theme for this year is I can and I will. And I this am one, and I will. Yeah. I, uh, all right, and this one goes out to everyone out there, to every individual, does not you know, necessarily mean you have to have cancer to play a part in you know, raising awareness about cancer. You can play your part in any field that you are right now. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because right after this very short break, we have something very exciting for everyone else yeah, there. Yeah, somebody's playing a very crucial role within the field they are in as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we need to highlight that. We're going for a short break. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll have the Mastro over here in the studios with us. Let's do this. Good morning. Welcome back to World This Morning, ladies and gentlemen, on a very fresh, energetic and a pleasant morning yeah. here in the studios with Shazad Khan and Shazad Hashmi. And in the first segment, as it is our duty sort of Shazad, yeah. that we love to inform everyone we out there, it. we were talking about cancer awareness because today we are observing Cancer Awareness Day. But right now we are going to talk about and actually celebrate someone who has actually played an important role in, well, upping the scene of fashion in Pakistan, not only in Islamabad. Exactly. Thank you very much for saying that. Not just that, ladies and gentlemen, before heading out towards a short break, she's actually said that there are particular people within that particular field 
who actually create a difference, who bring a lot of people on board as well and who know that these people are talented and can make a change. Mm -hmm. I think that this is something which is being done by this maestro as well. He's one of those people who revolutionized the fashion industry over here in Pakistan and till date he's doing so. Yeah. I don't know why, what he's up to but right <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen he's actually looking for the next top models. He's doing a talent hunt himself. He's not a, he's the one and only, mm. the very legendary, the maestro himself, Mr. Tariq Amin. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good morning, I'm absolutely Shilha. perfect. Thank you very much for joining us. So, Tariq Bhai, uh, first of all, congratulations. You've completed 35 years in the industry. Yes, and, congratulations. Uh, you're out there looking for newer models now. Why? When you have so, such good connections with all the ones previous, uh, previously. I, I, you know, this um, exercise, is, I, the last one I did was 10 years ago. And I was hoping that somebody else would take this upon themselves to right. find new talent. Uh, the, we have um, a dearth of talent because very few people are, uh, you know, they're all busy becoming, they're not models left anymore. They're all celebrities. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody has, you know, uh, millions of followers on Instagram mm -hmm. and they can they feel they can charge and demand what they like. Right. Um, just recently, for this 35 um, uh, year, uh, yeah, I said, like, you know, let's do a show and let's do a hair show in all three cities. And yeah. So I said, look, put together a list of models and this is, I need 20 kids. And so somebody said, okay, gee, it's going to be a 50K, 50 lakh. Am I saying that right? 50K? Yeah. But just lakh. Five million. million. Nobody, yeah. nobody says lakh anymore. Yeah. 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 So 50 lakhs was yeah. the, the the budget for the models. Okay. And I was just like, you know, that's more money than a designer would put into a collection. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I said, it's time, you know, uh, it's time and to, to find fresh faces. Right. And people, you know, fashion is meant to be fun. It's not fun anymore. This has become a very cutthroat... Um, hmm. uh, I don't know if I can say <laughs> yeah, this on competitive. TV, but, well, competitive is, is competition is good, Shazad. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when it comes down to, uh, you know, people... Um, there's Not a lot asking of, for what they actually deserve. Well, there's a lot of stuff that's happening in fashion that shouldn't be happening yeah, yeah, in yeah. fashion. Oh, right. So, uh, you know, I've, I'm a firm believer of, of promoting new talent. I've done it for... All You've my, done it for us too as well. Mm -hmm. We've done it for, I've done it for all my, you know, career and... I think it's always a good chance to give. I always, I'm a believer in giving, and that I, I don't want to look for. I want to look for the next big thing. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. you know, hashtag next. Big thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the thing. So, um, uh, yeah. Sorry, please go ahead. All right. So here's the thing. When you've actually spent 35 or more years in this industry, and mashallah, mashallah, you have a name to yourself, everyone recognizes you by your work that you've done. Then this is, what is this sort of, I don't know, sense of contribution that is coming from within you that is not stopping you even what after all these years? I'm just and happy he's on the show. Why, yeah, I know. Yeah. And while I understand that you want to do something, you know, the next big thing, yes, but you don't realize it, even maybe not intentionally, but you are really creating or opening up new vistas for a lot of people that probably didn't have the platform. Well, you know, there, there's so many limited platforms. Yeah. You know, there's there's a very few talent agencies in Pakistan. We, I don't want to be an agency. I don't want to own these kids. Mm. I just want to find the next big, one. big thing. Okay. You know, I, I, it for me, it's looking for new talent is, um, you know, everybody else, we've been there, done that, worked with them, you know, who's next? Right. Yeah. We've right. been seeing the same faces for the last, 10 years mm -hmm. yeah you know that was discovered at the last talent hunt i did so i think it's time to you know fresh is fashion is about fresh fashion yeah. is you know something that is for 18 year old young people right. yeah uh if you look at the rest of the you know we, and i'm looking for 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 talent which is which which can uh model anywhere in the world yeah. mm. i mean kids wow. some of our models have been to milan fashion week yes. you know if we aspire to 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 set a standard hmm. we can deliver we exactly. can we do have the talent we do, we do have Absolutely. beautiful kids who can model anywhere thank in the you world. Very, thank you very much for that Chal? <laughs> <laughs> but then no, the no, same, you're doing a great job <laughs> thank you very i'm much. a big fan <laughs> yeah thank you very much for that but son you know to talk about in detail you know obviously you've given the very basis hmm. of it but well, when is it going to take place what are uh, the kind the of people first, who can participate the uh first talent hunt is in islamabad oh, or the brilliant. capital when? the big city i always want to put islamabad on the map yeah because yeah. nothing happens in islamabad so something is happening here <laughs> you know yeah. it's this sunday on the on the on the ninth uh their auditions at beverly center you have to register on the link in my bio in um 
on Instagram. Yeah, which is the and Union yes, Coffee. and this is a, a collaborative uh, th- celebration of my work. That we are collaborating with the best in the industry. Um, right. We're also not involving um, the media. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's like, you know, uh, we've done this on our completely on our own mm-hmm. through yeah. social media. Yep. And I think that you know we're looking for those kind of kids that are forward thinking and and and. You know, things have changed since the last yeah. time I did a, f- a fashion yep. yes. um, uh, uh, hunt, a talent hunt. Of, okay. And uh, so, you know, we are trying to get kids that are the whole deal, the whole package, you know, mm. the attitude, not just the looks, not just the height. You know, that is a requirement. But we need to have kids that are, you know, uh, out there and... and, and And Honestly, psychologically and, ready as and, well. And yeah. sure, you know, and we, we are going to train them as well. It's not yeah. like I, I don't want somebody who's already done a show. Right. I want somebody who has never done a show. Oh, right. So, you know, we are looking for, for the, the, you know, international standard as far as requirements are concerned mm-hmm. for the criteria yeah. of models. But, you know, we are also looking for, for people who have the right attitude yeah. and the right, uh, you know, and, and the want to want to learn to be a model, not yeah. just wing it or fake it all right you know they want we want to make them a proper uh, uh, you know um, do shoots yahan pe to comp card ek din mein ban jata hai ek look mm. you know four different pictures yeah. same person mm-hmm. so you know comp card takes a while to develop so we're going to involve them with doing shoots we're going to involve different brands you know and that does we're make sense have fun fashion yeah. is about fun there's no more fun in fashion <laughs> it's literally and i like to have fun and you can have fun when you create something for your own fun. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Well, well, that that's is great. absolutely true. Fashion is all about fun. And I think I do agree with you when you say that it's not literally about a good height anymore. It's not about a good face. It's about anymore. diversity. It's, it's 2020. Yeah, we it's want to look for we want, of, I mean sure, we want to look for tall people. That's yeah. you know, <coughs> that is an international requirement. <laughs> But you know, if there's somebody that's beautiful and 5'8", you know, I'm going to say yes. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. you know, please apply. Please try. Give it a chance. You know, give it, uh, you know, I'm so, thank you so much for thank you, calling me and promoting this on, yeah. uh, on your platform. I think, you know, children, last time we got kids from the northern areas. We got kids from Hunza. One of the boys oh, that wow. made it was a boy from Hunza, you yeah. know, and I'm so, I, I was so proud of that. That's that, you know, you don't, people from anywhere in northern areas, and stuff, they don't have a chance to, to do mm. it, exactly. to do this kind of, um, exactly. so, we, you know, this is open to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, Are you going to be a jury member? I'm going to be Ooh. a judge. Yes, yeah. I'm going to be a judge. Uh, we have two judges, okay. uh, aside from myself, we have a panel of three. always a photographer always a designer mm-hmm. um so that you know it every sort of so would you mind giving away the names of the rest of the judges as well yes sure uh, my dear uh, buddy a super ace photographer sam chinoy is going to be one of the judges okay. and uh, fahad asif yeah. of the brand mohatram hmm. is going to be the other judge oh, perfect. well that's great so very quickly you know this sunday on the 9th of february 2020 ladies and gentlemen the bobaldi center tariq man salon you are really uh, cordially invited to go and you know make sure that you guys get selected and you know as tariq bhai eventually said that even if you're five eight and you get the job done you you're selected and he does not want people who've already done shows he wants people who might have not done a show ever in their life as well which is why that we are actually putting in this much effort as well so this sunday is islamabad next sunday is in lahore Next Sunday is in Lahore and the following Sunday is uh, uh, in, in Karachi. Karachi. Okay, wow. perfect. So, so how many people are you going to shortlist out of all of these last cities? Last time 2,000 people showed up in Islamabad. Oh, yeah. wow. So uh, it's not an easy task. It's a full day's job. Definitely. But we have a, 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 a foolproof system yeah. okay. which is in place. And I have a, mashallah, a, an amazing team with, yeah. which I can't do without. Thank you, team. Tariq. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that you know that they 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 are filtered through i yeah. mean they're like i have like agents and they'll go through the crowd yeah. and we have some very simple it's like riding a you know when you go to an amusement park and there's a ride yeah. so for the height we have a literally that you know if you don't meet that requirement yeah we cannot go in yeah okay. yeah so the, okay. i mean there is a requirement as far as ramp is concerned you do need to have you know for guys at six feet for women it's Five <laughs> uh, nine, excuse me, um, but you know Kate Moss is five eight and she is on the ramp. Right. Yeah. So you know you have to be 
you know, you have to have something. We have to be able to see that something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why we have a cross section of photographer, a designer, a, a, you know, a stylist so, myself. Yeah. You know, uh, my wife Faiza is very much involved uh, as well. She's one of the she's a she's one of the scouts. She's the backbone. Okay. <laughs> she's the one pushing Tariq Bhai every day as well. Yeah, we can do it. But sir, for how many people are you going to select, and what ten. kind of future will ten they have? Ten boys from ten boys from each uh, ten boys ten girls from each uh, city. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to bring sixty new models to the to the platform. Yeah. Oh wow! And we're going to try and work with these uh, kids. We're going to develop portfolios for them coach them, teach them how to, uh, you know, we don't want people who, like I said, are already in the industry, mm -hmm. already in the business, because they already know what they're doing. Right. Yes. So we want just fresh new kids that would l want to learn about. And you'll groom them? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We'll, be, we'll be using them for our in-house shoots as well. We'll Perfect. be using them for um, campaigns for buddies in the industry, like yeah. our buddy Jazeb Kamar. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, you know, we're going to be doing jewelry shoots with, we are, they're already signed, sealed for, you know, working with different brands. So it's, the potential is huge. And uh, I'm very grateful that in my 35 years, there's so many people that have been coming and saying, okay, you know, we are allowing you yes. to do this because Tariq yeah. Amin is doing this. Yeah. So I feel blessed. That Thank you very much for saying That's that. But sir, one last thing before we wrap it up, because we really have to be like, uh, you know, we, we need to talk from both perspectives as well. So you said that the entire motto, not entire, but you said partially you were motivated to do this talent hunt because you wanted to do a hair show and the budget for the models came in for 5 million rupees. Now for all of these 60 models which you were going to select, do you think that they'll be underpaid, they'll be equal? No, they're paid? not going to be paid anything. They're going to learn. Okay. okay. They're, going to, they're going to have the opportunity to... Uh, no, once they are the models... They're going to get free haircuts and that's... Uh, <laughs> no, once they, they get to be the models... <laughs> no, no, then, once they are, of course they yeah. will. They will be getting, uh, you know, what is... What they will be making, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Be. Right. But, you know, uh, uh, they will... For example, this most... Um, um, even like next door, they, we have unions in fashion. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any hair. And they, they dictate to you what uh, a model gets for a ramp, on a ramp show. Okay. Okay. So, for example, in India, still today, till today, I think it's like 15,000 rupees per... Per walk. Yeah, per dress. Per show. Per show, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so, you know, th nobody does that anymore. And, that and that right. should be, that should, I mean, that's a pretty much standard. Even in the West, you know, it's not, everybody gets the same amount of money. You can't be having different rates of people. I mean, that's what, that's why I'm saying that everybody's, there's no models left. Everybody's okay. a celebrity now. Hmm. Everybody, you know, has I know what you mean, earned yeah. their right to be a celebrity. Okay. But, you know, it, when it comes to doing fashion, hmm. you know, it's it's very hard for uh, for anybody to be able to um, put together a budget like that. Right, you know? So yeah. we want to get new kids on the block who are willing to learn and make money, of course, wow. and uh, have no attitude. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you very much, Sarik Bhai, for Thank being you. with us. It was always, wonderful always to have you. And was good luck for what you're going to do. Thank you. Swing by. Likewise, I will definitely. I and But yeah, I don't know. Well, let me ask you. Do you think that the kind of hair I have, I can be very appropriate for a hair show? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's a good news early in the morning. It's about that's the attitude, Shazad, not oh, the wow. hair. Then we are that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope for all of you interested in Islamabad, Lahore and Karachi do show up at the given venues as well. And in Islamabad, it's going to be this Sunday, right? Beverly Center. Uh, do check out his Instagram and Facebook page for further details. And do write to us on our social media pages on Facebook with the name of... Well, this morning on your TV screens right now. On Twitter. Well, this morning with RG. Daily Motion on YouTube. Well, this morning, well, this morning. And the repeat, you can 5 past 11 p.m. tonight till the next day. One, two, three. Good, Good morning. morning.
Hello, you're watching PTV World with the news at this hour. I'm Fadrukh Faz. A look at the headlines first. Pakistan and Malaysia agree that collaborated efforts will be enhanced for regional peace and promotion of the real image of Islam. Government departments. And as you mentioned, that um, education is, is very important. It's and the key. The kind of problem that I faced as a child because as you have already um, explained it in a very beautiful way that a transgender child is made fun of, it's bullied by the students and the teachers as right. well. Right. Um, and even I, if I recall, at, and when I was studying, when I was doing my BBA, I never had any friend because nobody was comfortable being friends with a transgender person. Um, so I think we need to um, have these sensitization sessions in all the education institutions and, um, and the relevant um, departments need to have policies. For Absolutely. example, if we apply for the admission, the admission form should have the option of transgender Absolutely. on there. Because, you know, so that whoever is filling the admission form, he or she must know that, okay, they are transgender people and they are equal citizens of the country right. and they deserve the same dignity. Absolutely. Acknowledged before even accepted. Yes. Right? I yes. think that you very rightly said that. But Aisha, since you mentioned that you yourself were a victim of bullying as well, can I tell you a story? Of course, I'm not going to reveal the name of the person as well. Now, this amazing, amazing, <coughs> I mean, of course, physically a man, mm -hmm. we know from our university. But that person always identified as a female, right? Mm -hmm. And we were very good friends with them but physically still a man so over the summer vacation they got uh, you know surgical changes in their body and now they are fully functioning female identifying as a female changed their name and everything mm -hmm. and our university did not know what to do where to place them in terms of male hostels or female hostels mm -hmm. there had to be a proper I mean committee to sit and decide where to put them and for a very long time they could not do that mm -hmm. and then of course there were so many different the forms had to be changed the entire procedure had to be changed mm -hmm. why is it so complicated mm -hmm. um, let me tell you that the good thing now is that we uh, we have the law and the law gives the right um, to change the name and gender marker on your CNIC. Oh, perfect. So now we, so now uh, the situation is different. Okay. So any person who is in the process of transition, um, mm -hmm. that, that that transgender person can get um, his or her name and gender marker changed on CNIC, and right. then all the other credentials would be updated accordingly. Oh, that is such a great yeah. initiative as well. That is a first step in the step of so many that we need to take, ladies and gentlemen. When Aisha spoke about the transgender protection bill, I think it is. I mean, as, as basic as you guys think it is, it's not really basic. I'll tell you why. Every other day, if you're on social media and you do come across news, you do know this as well in uh, different parts of Pakistan that probably I shouldn't even mention right now. Transgenders are dealt with in such a violent way, not even a bad or a rude way. Violent is the word, ladies and gentlemen. And by all sorts of authorities, be it the staff at a hospital where they're going for any sort of checkup. You very rightly mentioned police as well. Mm -hmm. Misdealt with even in front of our eyes. I mean, if you, I'm pretty sure all of you might have seen as well. If you see a transgender person begging as well, the police, the first thing that they will do, beat them up in front of the public. Why? And then, I mean, we're talking about the behavior of students already mentioned as well. We're talking about the behavior of the shopkeeper where you go to shop they harass you I mean they violate your right to roam around freely as well this is why we need the protection bill it is in place you very rightly mentioned so please read up on it and educate yourself on how you need to behave but moving on Aisha there's also this health card coming out is yeah. it please let me know about it mm -hmm. and what benefits is it providing Okay. Uh, <coughs> sorry. No so the recently, uh, the Ministry of Health has uh, launched this program, hmm. and um, in the, uh, the first time in the history of Pakistan, there was this, this event of hmm. launch ceremony in the Prime Minister House. Yeah. Um, and uh, so this is the Sehat Card uh, facility for all those transgender people who have been registered as transgender with Nadra. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> And um, it would cover their uh, all those expenditures which would happen when they are admitted in the hospital. Oh, that's great. I mean, for example, the surgeries, uh, dialysis, um, um, and other treatments. 
That's yeah. such a good initiative because, I mean, mm. even as normal people, I, I don't think a lot of people can afford that, right? Yes. But there have been health cards for general public, but now specifically for, for transgenders, I yes. think it's such, such a good initiative. Aisha Mughal, you were such a delight to speak with. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to have you back in my show again, inshallah, and we shall talk about so many different things too. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like as an individual, as a society, it is the duty of each and every single person watching right now or even not watching to change your behavior, be a little more accepting to towards, you know, all different type of changes in the society. You really don't have to be so uptight and rigid about what you have been told ever since you were a child. I mean, make your mind open to accepting new things as well. This is how we can coexist as a society. I mean, this world, the society, um, the country, everything is about coexistence. This is not about one person. It's about each and every single person, each and every single creation that Allah created. I mean, can't you think that your God, if he created something out of I mean, his will, it must be so perfect and beautiful. Why do, you ha why do you have to put labels of a man or a female on someone that your God created that way? Please be mindful of not hurting anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's anything you need to write to us, please write on our Facebook page with the name of World This Morning. On Twitter, World This Morning without a G, Daily Motion and YouTube, also World This Morning. And the repeat, you can catch at 5 past 11 p.m. tonight. Till the next time, take care. Good morning. their own seed okay. uh, by uh, by giving them the different techniques hmm. for the uh, scientific on scientific grounds. All right. Thank you so much for saying that. Thank you so much for being here, especially gentlemen, Dr. Nosherwan, Dr. Tash, Dr. Azim. But since, you know, very shortly, I want you, Dr. Azim, to let everyone know out there who's interested in this, uh, where to contact you guys. Can you can they call you as well? Can they see you in terms of a training session as well? This is the camera. Please speak to everyone out there. I think uh, 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 it's very easy different. if you go to the website of mm. the PRC and uh, I think after this program we will uh, further uh, put uh, our uh, even phone number and okay. our mobile numbers. Perfect. Uh, it will be coming uh, uh, at the top of our website today okay. so they can contact the person who can guide them and if they want training they, they can be involved in those trainings. Oh wow. And they want to visit us if they want to have, uh, uh, want to buy something mm. or get something. Uh, from the NARC, yeah. uh, National Agriculture Research Center, Horticulture uh, Research Institute. Mm -hmm. Tajan Seeb is there as the director, No Sherma is there, my other colleagues are also there. All right. uh, Dr. Gulam Jilani is also very instrumental, very hard working person. Mm -hmm. So shortly we will be now preparing uh, uh, early season uh, summer uh, 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 summer nurseries okay. in large number, maybe in uh, 15 days or a month time. All right. So, uh, and then this will be at a larger scale. Hmm. So if they want to produce these things at their home, we will be supporting them. Okay. If they wa want to get from us, we will be providing them. Wow, thank you so thank much you. for all the thank details. You. Thank you so much for being here. You guys thank are doing an amazing job. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I really hope you took something away from this show because I know I did and my mom was texting me, she did as well. Um, because I feel like this is a very important thing for you to grow, I mean, stuff that you need on daily basis on your own. We are really, I feel like on Facebook, on Twitter as well, we really open in saying every other day, tomato itna manga ho gaya, or you know, things that we need to buy on daily basis. Why don't we grow them organically and benefit our health, benefit our, you know, peers, our family members as well. So if there's anything you need to ask, if there's anything you need to write to us, write on our Facebook page with the name of Well This Morning. On Twitter, Well This Morning without a G, Daily Motion, YouTube, also Well This Morning. And if you've missed this show, it's all right. You can catch the repeat at 5 past 11 p.m tonight. Till the next time, good morning.